It's just a fan fiction, nothing related to reality. All characters are fictional. Pics, sounds, videos which are used in this video are not mine. Credit goes to rightful owners. But the editing and the storyline is mine. Do not copy it. A man in his mid-thirties was driving his way back his house. His lips were adored with a smile. The reason behind his smile was a small three years old girl. How adorable was that girl? Today, after office hours, he went to his colleague Tyler's house to drop him as Tyler's car was punctured. He remembered as soon as he and Tyler entered Tyler's house, a small girl came running towards Tyler with white smile and threw herself on him and hugged him tightly. Tyler also embraced her. He remembered the girl's happy giggling seeing her father after a long day. It took a while her to realize there was also a person present as a guest along with her father. Upon realizing another person's presence, a shy smile came to her face. She then snuggled more closer to her father's snake to hide her eyes face. Oh, how he stopped himself from laughing out loud after seeing her adorable tactics. When her father asked her to greet the guest, she shyly mumbled a hello uncle. That moment, he first time regretted for not having a chocolate bar in his pocket. When Tyler was introducing his wife to him, he noticed how the little girl was trying to peek at him from her father's neck. Can she be any more adorable than this? As it was almost dinner time, Tyler's wife asked him to have dinner with them. When the little girl also joined her mother, he couldn't say no to them and ended up having dinner with them. During dinner, the little girl had become comfortable around him. She told him about her toys in her stammering baby voice. It's no hidden truth that how much he enjoyed her blabberings, her puppy eyes when she no longer wanted to finish her food. He smiled more remembering how she kissed his cheeks after denying to take his money which he offered her to buy chocolates. Today's dinner was really eventful, in a good way. After reaching his house, he took out the spare key of his house. He was about to unlock the door when a thought came to his mind. How will it be to be welcomed by a small figure running towards you? A small figure who will have half of your genes, who will see you as their hero, whom you will be protecting at any cost, who you will be your first priority. How will be the feeling holding this small figure in your arms tightly? How will be the feeling? After entering his house, he locked the entrance door and took off his shoes. He was about to go upstairs to his room when he spotted his wife wine at the very last stair. Noticing him, she gave him a warm smile. He also tried to return it. How's the dinner, Thea? She asked, looking at his way. She was holding a water bottle. He assumed she came downstairs to fill her bottle from the kitchen. Good. I also have my dinner just a while ago. You go upstairs. I'm coming after filling up my bottle. He nodded and she went to the kitchen without uttering any more words. He then went to upstairs to both of their shared room. A 
After freshening up, he came out from the washroom and saw his wife scrolling through her phone while sitting on the bed. It's been more than one and a half years since Thayang and Yin got married. Yin was a nurse. Thayang met with Yin when his mother needed a nurse 24/7 for two weeks. He liked her back then. Noticing Thayang's interest in Yin, Thayang's mom talked to Yin's mom about their wedding. Seeing Thayang's mom's good behavior and Thayang's high-paid job, Yin's mom agreed for their wedding. Despite Yin being 10 years younger to Thayang, Yin was not committed to anyone back then, so she agreed with her mother's choice. Yin, he called her but she didn't respond, so he called her again. Yin. This time she looked up from her phone and gazed at him. What? Have you seen the time? It's pretty late. You should sleep now. You know, in the story I am reading, the male protagonist is giving his wife hints about him wanting a child and the female protagonist is ignoring his hints just to prank him. It's very funny and interesting. I will sleep after reading this story full. You sleep? Don't worry about me. You know, right, tomorrow is your morning shift? I know, don't worry about me, just let me read this. Saying this, she again groaned into her story. Thayang shook his head while shy. Then he laid on the bed while covering herself with a duvet. After closing his eyes, the story Yin was reading came to his mind. He drifted into his dreamland after remembering the little girl he met today. Almost a week later. Thayang was sitting on his bed while reading something on his phone. Yin saw this and huffed. She went towards him and sat on the bed while putting her legs on his lap. She also snatched his phone from him and threw it on the bed far from his grip. She again huffed. Seeing her huffing like this, he didn't yell at her for snatching his phone. Instead, he held her hand and asked, What happened for my wife to huff like this, huh? You, she said while pouting. Me, now what did I do, missus? That's the problem, right? You didn't do anything. Thayang was confused by her answer. Am I forgetting any important date or promise? For past few days, I am seeing you were trying to ask me something, but always hesitant. Then you don't ask me. You were not like this before. You always speak to me freely. Then suddenly what happened? Was it that obvious? He said, scratching his neck. Yes, while nodding her head. Actually, why in? Yes, Thayang, I am listening. Thayang took a deep breath and said, Yin, you know right, I am 36 years old. Yeah, I know, I married you while knowing your age. You know, I was thinking, he again scratched his neck. Yin was looking deep into his eyes. Remember a week ago, I went to Tyler's house? Yin nodded. There I saw Tyler's daughter. She was so adorable. After coming home for the first time, I thought, how will it be to be welcomed by a small figure? He held Vine's hand. I thought about it a lot and concluded I am ready to start our family now, to have a baby now, obviously if you are ready as well. You are 10 years younger to me, so I was hesitant to talk to you about it. As you know, I don't want you to take any decisions just based upon my thoughts. When I was at your age, I didn't want to start my family. Hell, I wasn't even ready to marry them. You know, you are free to decide whichever you think as right. It's, it's just, I am telling you, from now on, I am ready to have a baby. He looked deep into her eyes. Nervousness was clear in his eyes. 
Ryan gave him a warm smile. Thank you, Thayang, huh? for valuing my opinion, which everybody should. You know, sometimes in an age camp relationship, the older partner tends to dominate the relationship. They think their opinions are best for the younger ones. In the name of securing their future, they often neglect younger ones' wishes. I'm so glad you were not one of them. Ryan, it's true that I have more experience in life than you, but that doesn't mean I will always treat you like inferior. We are couple, Ryan. We are equal. Whenever I feel you need my decisions, I will give you my opinion. You can always count on me. He smiled at her. She also returned as mom's wine. I know we are financially stable, but Thayang, I am 26 right now. I would like to wait one or two years to have a baby. You see, right now I can't afford to take maternity leave. My salary has just started to get increased. I hope you... Obviously, Ryan, I understand. Why I leaned towards Thayang and hugged him. He also hugged her back. I will name my son, by the way. May God bless my son. Did you say anything? No, no, why would I? You better not. Thayang sighed and they both hurt each other more tightly. 